was amazing. It was really good. Uh, we play kind of early on the on the day, but uh, it was packed. You know, everybody was there to, to see the show. Played a little short too, like 45 minutes, especially in a in a celebration of 30 years. You know, it's hard to to yeah. you know to take a, away some songs of the set and stuff. But in the end, you know, I think we we represent. Uh, as best uh, that we could, you know, a little bit of our history and the the response was amazing. You know, we felt great. It was was wonderful. It's hard <laughs> to read without glasses now. You know, so, <laughs> and Paulo have white hair, but uh, besides all this stuff, I mean, everything's the same. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> now, if it, it feels it feels great, actually. You know, I think we are in a, our best momentum in in history. Not only on stage, but uh, uh, on the, um, on the business side, you know, or organizing our own stuff, you know, taking care of our our business. Really, you know, it it took a while for us, you know, since Max left the band, we passed through different managers and different labels, and now we have a great label, uh, a great set of people working in you know in a specific areas for Sepultura, and uh, the band is great on stage. Eloy, you know, came to. To, to, the, to the band like four years ago, bringing a lot of new energy, new elements, new possibilities to our music, you know, and I mean, the shows are great. It's, it's, uh, it's amazing to see like old fans as well, you know, coming back <laughs> to see the show, you know, oh, I don't see since the 90s and stuff, you know, and, and really enjoying the, the, what, what we see, or what he hears, you know, so uh, it's a great way to celebrate 30 years, you know, very active, Two years on the road, the biggest festivals in the world. We did it, you know, in this last two years. A DVD out at Rock in Rio, you know, working on a documentary. Uh, so, I mean, it's it's very positive, you know, times. It's great. Certain <laughs> songs, you know, they provide like a different mood to the crowd. You know, some songs are better to play live, um, but we try to mix it up. Try to do songs that we normally don't do. Um, some B side type stuff. So uh, it's a lot of fun, you know, choosing and picking and seeing what happens, you know, with the reaction from the crowd. I mean, we did the test with him. Uh, we already knew him for, uh, you know, we live in the same city. He already started playing drums very early, doing a lot of different contests and appearing on TV, you know. The, so his name was kind of uh, known on the on the, the music, you know, underground scene. and. Uh, and he came to the band, he was, you know, working with a different band in Brazil, kind of heavy, but pop, you know, pop heavy band in Brazil. And, uh, but he really wanted to do something with us, you know, I mean, he was born to be in Sepultura, it seems, you know, it's like perfect, you know, to, he plays the old stuff like he, he owns it, you know, and, and, and brings uh, another new possibilities, like I said, you know, uh, he's from the metal cradle, you know, he has really metal blood and, and technically perfect, you know. Uh, a great guy, professional dude, is always there, you know, and I mean, he brings everything very positive to, to the group, you know, and of course, big f shoes to fill, but uh, I think our shoe, drummer shoes is bigger than ever now. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my first time, yeah, it was at, like in the, I think it was on our Rise tour, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, it was insane. <laughs> it was great times for us, you know, first time in Ireland and and the crowd as well, seeing Sepultura for the first time. And then we came here on the Chaos AD and Sepultura was already like a UK fever. <laughs> you know, it was like insane, you know, it was such a great momentum. We're playing at Brixton Academy and, you know, great places. And, uh, and, and Ireland was, uh, I mean, UK in general, together with Ireland, was, were, were the place that uh, really embraced Sepultura. You know, since our first tour with Sodom, we couldn't come to Ireland, but we played Marquee Club with them. And, uh, you know, we were the headliners that day. You know, people were there to see Sepultura, you know. Benito Remains was really well accepted and everything. So, uh, great fans, you know, great faithful friends. And it's great to be here, always. It was really great to have people involved, you know, fans over the years from different places around the world. And it really, you know, the song really captures that. That, fi that feeling, that vibe, you know, of really, of everyone being so dedicated, and especially people with the Sepultura tattoos, we've seen more and more, you know, uh, from traveling around the world, and it's just 
fantastic that support you know that belief in the band it's weird man but it's um it's an amazing you know display of respect <laughs> and love you know and it's um it's it's mind-blowing you know it's great so i think the the minimum that we could do was you know was this you know write a, a song for them and and let them be a part of it you know because without them this will be nothing <laughs> It was great, man. Ross is uh, one of the best producers out there, man. You know, it's like very, very artistic, you know, very organic, like a lot of uh, uh, concept on everything, you know, every details. And uh, of course, technically as well, you know, uh, experiments a lot. And, you know, we, we work on Roots in 95 and, and then we work with different producer, him, you know, work with different musicians and stuff. and. And finally, it was great, you know, we're great friends. I think Derek really had a great uh, relationship with him because he's really, he's, he's, he's the best with singers, you know, really to, to extract, you know, the best from it. Yeah, I mean, that was <laughs> extremely important, you know, to really go deep in, into, you know, the, the meaning behind each lyric and, and to make sure that everyone understood what was being said in the song. and. To, to bring that unity within the band, I think was something really important. You know, we we're staying in this house, the studio was right below, so it was like, we were all very focused. And he and he would, you know, really, really push you, you know, each person, you know, to, to do things that they couldn't believe they couldn't do, you know, especially with Deloy, he was pushing him as well, and, and uh, you know, getting him to try different things, and, and really um, being honest, you know, as far as, you know, if something wasn't a great take, then, you know, hey, it didn't sound great. You really need to go over it or I'm not believing it, you know, or it's like I want to, you know, believe what what's being, you know, screamed or said. So um, it really psychologically it was fantastic. You know, it's like something you carry with you your whole life, you know, when you learn something so important like that. And uh, it was such a great, great time, you know, a great experience to work with them. It's fantastic. I mean, especially live, it goes so well with the mix of the material from the past, and it, it, it fits really fantastically in the set list. You know, it's a lot of energy, a lot of power. Um, you know, the, the crowd, you can see, you know, the movement, you know, within people. It's, uh, it's I don't know, it's, it's perfect, you know, in a way. You know, it really sits very well. <laughs> Good question, man. <laughs> I mean, uh, the director is, is is working on it. You know, he's from Brazil. His name is Otavio Giuliano, and he's been following Sepultura for the last five years or so. You know, uh, he captured the whole changing of the drummers. You know, Jando La Bella with Eloy and uh, two albums in the studio, Indonesian tour, Europe, States, and talked a lot with different people. You know, old crew and different band members and it's it, it there's a, a, still a lot of stuff to to collect you know like some in uh, interviews and stuff but uh, I don't know how many hours he have like millions of hours already you know yeah we gave our our uh, uh, personal collection you know to like photos and memorabilia and all that stuff you know so I think uh, we, we're not in a rush you know I mean we we wish that the movie would be could be ready this year, you know, to celebrate thirty years. But you know, can be thirty five. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think it's going to be interesting, not for only for the Sepultura fan or metal fan, but uh, you know, for people in general, you know, to see this thirty year history of a band playing, you know, what we play and <laughs> and going everywhere, you know, coming from Brazil and stuff. So I think it'll be, I think it'll be really cool. Yeah, it was it was definitely a lot of fun. It was kind of like a one-off type thing, but it was so busy with Sepultura and touring. It was really difficult to do uh, both. And I know that a lot of the guys um, in the band they wanted to do a little bit more, but at the same time they started having families and so less touring, less playing. But uh, I mean, I still think there's a few songs that are there that possibly I would like to do vocals still for, but. Like I said, it was a lot of fun, you know, it's great playing that. 
one of the best moments of, of my life really you know as a musician you know to uh, to be respected the way by them you know to to have Scott like uh, calling me and you know thinking about my name giving like six months you know to prepare and stuff you know and uh, uh, and everybody you know I, I felt home really it was great you know to jam with them and spend two weeks with with Anthrax five big four shows plus another shows and festivals and it was was great I mean everything went went smoothly and I think I was prepared you know to do the the job and and I enjoyed a lot you know I was really there with them and uh, you know something that you never dream about you know you dream so many things but uh, reality is much better <laughs> Well, I mean, we still have a lot of stuff to do uh, up to the end of the year. Uh, we still have some shows in uh, Brazil and South America. We're playing with Slipknot in Chile, doing Argentinian tour in Uruguay. Um, also, we're coming back to Europe, but only a few more shows in the UK, London and other, other cities, uh, Scandinavian and the Balkans. And then, I mean, we got a, I mean, we still have the Knot Fest in the States yeah. in October. I mean, it's pretty good, like busy schedule and a uh, uh, lot of great stuff, you know, to do. But uh, we are really going to start thinking a new album, you know, now starting to, to put the ideas together and uh, take our time, really, you know, and by the end of next year, probably everything will be ready.